Once again this week, the famous Wentworth Club near London will play host to the European Tour's flagship event, the BMW PGA Championship. Golf's biggest stars will tee it up over the West Course, and we decided it was time to count down some of the great moments in the tournament's history. Starting at 10, Steve Webster's six iron at the par three fifth hole back in 2005. It earned him a bottle of champagne. Mind you, if he'd done the same at the 11th, he'd have been driving home a brand new luxury car. From his first major win at Augusta, Jose Maria Olafable was three behind Ernie Els going to the final round of the 94 PGA Championship. Five birdies in the last eight holes proved too much for the South African. Ollie's short game was purring. He went on to claim victory by a single stroke. In 2007, Justin Rose needed to hold his approach at the 18th to win. very nearly did. That left him facing Denmark's Anders Hansen in a sudden death playoff, and as Rose looked on, Hansen stepped up and to this 25-foot birdie putt for victory. Forward to 2010, Robert Carlson shot a 62 on Saturday despite thinking he'd missed the cut. I was about a par five short of my, my front door and had to turn back in the taxi and uh, and uh, went via uh, Orly and uh, slept over there tonight and uh, went in the pri private jet this morning, so I got here just in time for to tee off. Not bad on a few hours rest. The Swede, though, ran out of steam on the Sunday. At number six, the man who did win in 2010, England's Simon Khan. He shot the round of his life for 66 on Sunday with an incredible punch to set the clubhouse target and then sat and watched to see if Luke Donald could eagle the last to take the title from him. He couldn't, and it was the biggest day of Khan's professional life. At five, Miguel Angel Jimenez, dramatic hole-in-one on the par three fifth in 2008. This spurned him on to a playoff win over Oliver Wilson, a great victory in his 20th season on the European Tour, and another excuse for a post-win cigar. Well, we've seen some great shots, now for a great celebration. Constantino Rocca won here in 1996, edging out Nick Faldo and celebrated in typical Rocca fashion. In 2009, Paul Casey was feeling the pressure from Ross Fisher. He started the day five shots behind, eventually shot a brilliant round of 64. Tied with nine holes to go, Casey responded, birdieing three of the last four, including both closing par fives. Holding on by one for a much-needed win, sending him to world number three. Monty had to feature in here somewhere. He's the only player ever to win the tournament in three successive years. This winning cut in 98 was immense. Many great moments for Monty at this event, but our favourite is this one, an element of good fortune, and the reaction says it all. Our number one, still fresh in the memory, last year's playoff between Luke Donald and Lee Westwood. Both knew the winner would secure the number one world ranking. Donald went first. This is his approach to the 18th in extra time. Over to Lee. He went aggressive for the win and paid the price despite finding the green. had to do was roll in the winning mutt to claim victory and celebrate taking the world number one spot from right under Westwood's nose.